everybody's doing well. Uh, it's been a little bit. I took a little YouTube break and I have this lovely studio that you guys will be seeing more of and I owe you guys a video tour of the actual space that is coming up but I decided today that we are going to focus on uh, flowers. Lots of flowers. Um, because I use flowers a lot in my work and I am going to be attempting a flower crown. Uh, I watched several uh, tutorials myself and decided that since I'm going to be making one, I might as well just film me making one. This may or may not turn out well. <laughs> we will both find out. Um, but I actually feel like, um, one, I have real flowers and then I actually have fake flowers. So I'm gonna actually be making two crowns. One will be with real flowers and one will be with fake. Uh, just to kind of see the differences because uh, I use both flowers and you know fake flowers are nice to use because they don't die and you can reuse them and you just don't have to worry about them versus like if you make a fresh flower crown or using fresh flowers like you really only get to use them for that time and especially as a crown like you can refrigerate it refrigerate it, put it in a like lunchbox with ice uh, to keep it cool. Uh, that'll prolong it for like another day or two, maybe a week, but after that the real one's going to be dead versus if you make one out of fake flowers you can just have it and use it all the time. So we're going to be making one of each to just see the differences and um, I'm going to share that with you guys. Uh, so I'm excited to do that. Um, I'm trying to think about what's next, guys. Um, okay, so I already had these flowers at the studio, so um, that's why they're in this container. Uh, I have another container because we have more flowers. We have more. Um, so we have this lovely arrangement, uh, so that's kind of the color scheme for that. Um, I may or may not use these, so we might actually end up with two real flower crowns. I'm not sure. Um, but that's just an, an, another assortment of colors. Um, so that's one way, or to like think about when you're making yours, like what color scheme you like. We have oranges, we have yellows, and we have whites. Um, so this is just giving you a very like warm tones and uh, just vibrant in, in that regard versus these are purples and we have a red rose um, there's some like purples pinks fuchsia I guess uh, so you're getting more of cool tones so these uh, that's kind of the two ways really that I think and I think most kind of artists and creatives think uh, is in cool or warm so that's something to think about for uh, what type of crown you would like to make um, so we have that and then I also have just some lovely uh, branches. Uh, this is eucalyptus specifically. It smells great. So we went over the flowers, you know, color palettes, cool, warm, real, fake, uh, those types of things to think about for what you want for your flower crown. Uh, usually I just use a wire, uh, but I found these at the store. Uh, by the way, I went to Joann's and I will link uh, the few supplies that you need or I think you need um, in the description below. But I, I saw these in a tutorial so I wanted to try them as well as they were just there and I didn't see the normal wire I get. But it's a wire inside of it and then it's kind of looks like more kind of like twine or like I don't want to say rope but uh, it gives again that foresty vibe but like look I can just bend it how I want to fit around my head. I have flowers in my hair. I should probably move this guy just a little bit. But yeah, so you can like figure out and I'm not gonna, I also liked that it's not gonna be like a full crown. I'm gonna put ribbon here so that you can like tie it and adjust it from the back is my goal. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna, uh, tie some a tie slash uh, hot glue some ribbon here um, I realize I didn't bring that with me so that's the one part of the tutorial that we won't get um, but yeah that's my plan for this part but yeah so you can do like a half crown and plus I mean sorry guys playing around like look it chills on my head so it the back of it like here I'll put it to the front so you guys can see 
there's like a little gap here. Um, so it doesn't fully like close around your head. So that's where it's like, it just kind of, it would nicely sit on your head so that like it's adjustable. So it would fit different size heads, which is also kind of nice if you leave it open, which is an option. Um, but we will see as we're going along. But my main plan is to put some ribbon here and then you'll be able to tie off the back so that like it's secure. Um, but yeah, so this is gonna be the base of our crown. I might even actually like use a piece of twine to put there. So I just have like, I know, but, um, and then, so we have our floral twine and then we have floral tape. Um, and then you don't have to, I mean, for, if you're using real flowers, scissors are just fine. Uh, well, I guess you might need these for the, t the twine aspect, but, um, these are just wire cutters and these are more for when I want to uh, cut through this guy because these guys are just a lot harder to cut through so that's what this guy is for just to cut did I even cut through? HA! look at that, I win um, so yeah, so that's what this guy is mainly for is to cut through and then you'll as we make our tutorial and you guys will see. Uh, I'm gonna t I, I'm just gonna time lapse me cutting and actually making the crown. You guys, I don't feel like I need to chat with you. I love you guys, but I don't feel like I need to chat with you. I think just focusing on making the crown and then we will have a chat at the end and discuss whether or not I liked the fake flowers or if I like the real flowers. Um, so that's what's gonna happen next. And I guess since I started with this, Let's cut up all our fake flowers. which are flowers um, and I will also say it's been a little minute since I've made a YouTube video so I'm Jay Pace at least that's what I go by um, as my artist name uh, I'm Jennifer uh, I'm an artist photographer creative uh, person um, and I overshare so here I am on YouTube uh, but yeah I have been watching a few different YouTube tutorials on how to make flower crowns because I need to make a flower crown for a client, so that's what's we're what we're going to be doing today, um, and that's why I have so many different flowers around. Um, so uh, we're going to be making a little tutorial, you or <laughs> you and me, um, and 
thank you for joining me and I am excited to make art with you guys. So I have these cool wires that I got at the floral store, or I mean um, craft store. I went to Joann's, you could also go to Michael's, uh, I don't know where you live, I'm in Washington, Seattle specifically. And those are the two craft stores we have, is Joann's and Michael's. Um, so these are floral wires, I have floral tape, I have some ribbon, I have scissors for cutting flowers as well as I'm going to be cutting the ribbon uh, because so the wire you'll want to take it and put it kind of around your head to get and as you can see there's like a little gap um, and I you could get um, you get different wire there's like it comes in a spool like this wire and then you can cut it so if you want like it to complete because I mean this would be good for like a, a kid so if you want to make like a crown for like a, a kid's party or photo shoot, because uh, like that doesn't fit my head very well. And I mean, I can make that and then that's like one of those ones that just kind of sits on your head, but we want one that kind of is more fitted. So one thing I like to do is that on the ends here, uh, and that's why I have ribbon and I have a hot glue gun here off to the side, but we are going to glue some ribbon to the edges here. Um, and I will show you guys that part and I will chat with you guys a little bit and then when I actually get into making the crown I will first kind of chat and show you how to start the crown and then as I'm making the crown I'm pretty sure I'm just gonna do like a time lapse because um, it's gonna take me a little second and I don't need we could chat the whole time but then we'll have like an hour-long video uh, and I don't think anybody will be here for that. Um, so I'm debating, like, let's see. So this is where we're going to glue this ribbon and then just thinking about like length and tying. So we're going to have two pieces. So, and I mean, you know, you could always cut shorter. So I'm going to go here. I think that's a good length. And then of course my scissors cut that terribly. So we'll do this. And I want them to be even on either side. So I'm just gonna cut two of the same length. I don't know how long this is. This was just my guesstimation. Um, but so then I'm gonna hot glue, do, 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 take this piece and hot glue this here. And then we lost our other piece. And then this other piece will go on the other side. We're going to hot glue and then we'll be able to tie the crown from the back is the goal. So I'm going to do that really quick. Um, see if our hot glue can come this far. Oh, look at that. It can and it's hot. So I'm just going to put a little dab of glue here. Oh. Okay. All right. Yeah. See, so, and then I'll show you guys because now we can just tie back and I mean this is me testing this out I want to make sure that it's secure it's sturdy that the ribbons don't come off but look yeah see so it's on my head I can take it off and show you guys but so that's like the space for the back of my head and then that leaves it so that like you know your head might be bigger or smaller or you know I don't know the size of my clients head so that's also why I like having more of an adjustable band at the back but so that's how that's gonna work out and we'll untie that and so that's gonna be our cr far crown base I'm gonna just
this. Um, now we're going to try it on because the thing is to see if I think it's sturdy for the head. Oh, guys, I haven't even tied it yet and I'm, I'm pretty pleased with myself. Um, give me one second. I'm tying the string at the back. And, I mean, hopefully you guys are loving it. Let's see. Oh my... Guys. I have a mirror across the way, because, yeah, I'm just checking myself out. And we are loving it. I can also have one of these moments. Uh, yeah, no. I, I'm pleased. What do you guys think? I feel like the ultimate forest fairy, which was the goal. Um, yeah, no, this looks amazing. Uh, I'll be making lots more of these for shoots. Uh, now that I have that figured out, uh, sorry, I'm just gonna check myself out in this mirror and that mirror. Hey, uh, I wore a dress in a floral dress because I wanted to look cute, and I just, I just want to go outside. I just want to go outside, take pictures with you guys. It's so cool. Um, but yeah, I hope this tutorial helps you guys make a cool floral crown like this. Um, I made this one with real flowers. Uh, I have some fake flowers and I'm going to be making uh, another crown with fake flowers uh, and I may or may not put them in the same video and compare and contrast and let you guys know my thoughts on like making how making the two uh, if I felt like one was easier than the other. One thought with real flowers is like the, this is just so lush and beautiful and you know we love real flowers but you know they're expensive, uh, they die. Um, so that's why it's kind of nice sometimes to maybe make one out of fake flowers uh, because fake flowers you don't have to worry about them dying. Uh, you can reuse the crown over and over again. You can like beat up the crown. You could drop it, throw it around. Don't really have to worry about it like breaking. Um, well, it's a back and forth. I mean the flowers aren't going to just fall apart and wilt and the petals aren't going to go everywhere. Uh, so that's, you know, the pros and cons of real flowers versus fake flowers or fake fake flowers because I can do what I want and nothing's gonna happen and like the stem um, but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, I think I look amazing I think my client is gonna be pretty fucking pleased uh, again sorry uh, second time cursing I did so good uh, two times uh, but yeah, I think they're going to be pleased. This is very like foresty. Uh, I also, this one, I wanted to do cool tones. Uh, I actually have another one that is warm and I just, uh, I need to make adjustments because it needs to look as awesome and full as this one does. Uh, but yeah, uh, I hope you guys have a good day and stay tuned for more J Pace Creates. Hey guys, um, I don't know where I'm going to pop this in in our video uh, about crown tutorials, but I'll figure it out. Uh, we were making a fresh flower crown and I went home later and I decided to try and make one from fake flowers. So this is a fake flower crown. I don't have the real one with me. Um, I don't know. I'll see if I can do some sort of like side-by-side -side video comparison. Um, or I might take a picture of myself with this one and then we'll put them together so you guys can see. Um, but, I mean, I think this one turned out pretty good too. It's very lush, it's very full, it's huge. Uh, I honestly kind of feel like I have an afro, except for, you know, the middle of my head. Um, I will say that my thoughts on if one is harder to make, I guess, uh, for, for me, I feel like the Fresh Flowers was easier to make and easier to deal with mainly because they don't have a metal wire in them. So you uh, have to cut through the metal wire with fake flowers. So that's the first thing that's just harder because you know you just cut flowers and they just are cut. But unless you, like I just didn't have a very good uh, wire cutter so I need to go get a better one because um, it was kind of a pain. I had to like scissor the wires and some of them just didn't work. Um, and then the next thing I would say is that s I didn't have to bend the wire on all of them, but like, I'm trying, like this specific leaf here, this one is a hydra fake hydrangea leaf, and the way that they made them is like, so the rod's like here, and then the leaf, and so I had to bend the middle part so that the leaf 
wouldn't come off. I'm sorry if that looks weird or it doesn't make sense, but if I didn't bend the wire, then the leaf just came off. Um, and I mean, I don't know where it went, but like I, I've been wearing this and I've lost one flower so far. And I mean, if I throw it around, cause that's always a good test. Like look, it doesn't really go anywhere. Um, <laughs> so that's good. Uh, I'll take it off. Uh, sorry if my hair looks a little chaotic, but yeah, so this is what it looks like. Um, and again, I, I do think it turned out really well. And then I would say the one pro about having a fake flower crown is one, I can do, oops, see, that's, that's what we're worried about. Um, some of these do are popping off, uh, cause such fake flowers just aren't like, a, <laughs> this was very lightly attached to another thing and it just popped off. Um, but so yeah, so that's one thing I, if I make one again, sorry, my eye itches, I will think about what types of fake, like I'll have to look at the fake flowers and just make sure that they are the kind or make sense for, for cutting and making a crown, uh, the hydrant and if it like, you need to leave more stem than this, this isn't enough stem, uh, with the fake flowers. This would work with a real flower. I could get this real flower attached. Um, but yeah, other than that, it turned out well, and I have this lovely crown that I plan on using for a shoot at some point, and I will probably make some more, as well as if anybody leaves comments for this video about I want a crown or I want to buy a crown from you, uh, I have an Etsy and I have a Depop, but I really think I'm just going to put everything on Etsy. Um, but I would be willing to make some of these and, and post them up on Etsy if people want to buy crowns from me. Um, I like making them. I think they're fun. It's a bit meditative. Uh, and I mean, if you're local, if you're in Washington slash really Seattle, uh, I'd be willing to discuss making like a real flower crown, like out of real flowers. Um, cause I can't ship real flowers. Like they, that crown really would only last like three days. And by the time it gets to you, it would probably be wilted. Um, but I could ship a fake flower crown cause we don't have to worry about it wilting. And we also don't have to worry about it getting like damaged. Um, but yeah, that's just something to think about. Um, I like having an Etsy and I like to make little crafts and things here and there. And like I put up, I have some necklaces, um, as well as I mainly actually sell props and, and, and vintage and uh, intimates because that's what I shoot and use in photo shoots. Um, but yeah, thank you guys and we're going to go back to the regular video or this might be the end of the video, I'm not sure. Uh, if it's the end, uh, thank you for watching and being here and I hope that you like, subscribe, join the J Pace Creative crew and um, let me know if you need any more art tutorials about things. Uh, I know I want to make some on how to make portfolio boxes. Uh, I make hand bouquets, so I might show you guys how to do that. As well as, I don't know, does anybody want a video on just like flower arranging or like how I arrange flowers? Leave comments, questions, suggestions for videos, please. Uh, I would love to know what you guys would like to see from me. But thank you and have a good day. Yeah.